In our journey through the history of the Mega Man series, we've reached its fifth entry. Its importance for the development of the franchise cannot be overstated, because it's simply not there. After 3 gave us the slide and 4 the buster, this game has practically nothing new to offer. Apart from that, it's also terribly bland in many areas, for example stage design and music, so it has a really bad reputation among fans of the series. However, even though those faults are undeniably there, I really like playing the game. Because it didn't try anything new, it feels like they polished the basic formula really well here, which makes the overall experience flow pretty well in my opinion. It's probably the easiest of the NES games, therefore the most accessible one, and I definitely recommend it first and foremost for new players. So it's light and shadow all around. I'll try and address both, as usual, and be fair to the game. Obviously my high opinion of it will color that a bit, but that's what you're watching for after all. Hopefully this will be as fun for you as it is for me, again and again, and manages to stay fresh even with the game's quality in that aspect decaying rapidly. This is Simon with Let's Play Mega Man 5.